Hi, I'm Aki Kareem, and I'm back here to talk about a really controversial issue. It's this whole idea of Mr. Floyd Money Mayweather being TDE, or the best ever. I overheard two guys recently talking about this, and they were insisting that Floyd Mayweather was the best ever. And look, everyone's allowed their opinion, so this is just my opinion. Now, let's give Floyd Mayweather his props. He's got a fantastic record. He's 49-0 with 26 knockouts, no losses, no draws, all wins. That is pretty impressive. Um, and actually the early Floyd Mayweather, pretty boy Floyd, was quite an exciting fighter to watch. He gets this um, negative press about him being a very defensive fighter, just sticking behind that Philly shell all the time and kind of diffusing fights. But actually the early Floyd Mayweather was a really exciting fighter. A Couple of fights come to mind. You've got the fight you had with Diego Corrales. Diego Corrales, of course, was unbeaten at the time. Uh, Floyd Mayweather was sharp. He was throwing right-hand leads, catching him clean. He was following up with the left hook. He was walking to the guy. You know, back then, Floyd used to walk to people. He didn't just used to back off. He used to walk, walk down his opponents. He flo uh, used to throw flashy combinations. Um, if you look at the Arturo Gatti fight, God rest Arturo Gatti's soul, um, if you look at that fight, Floyd May Mayweather was dynamic, explosive. He was a genius um, with his combinations. He was simply fantastic. That, for me, was one of his best performances. Um, so, you know, the early Floyd Mayweather was seriously exciting as well as being very technical and a well-rounded fighter. He also did go in with some fighters who were young and in their prime. Um, fighters like Zab Judas bring to mind. Um, you know, a very dangerous, awkward, southpaw, power-punching fighter with a hell of a lot of speed. Um, tested Floyd Mayweather um, at sort of like a crossroads fight for the both of them. Uh, the winner of that fight would have gone on to the biggest honours. Of course, it was Floyd. He showed his skill. He showed his, his, uh, that he was able to deal with, with somebody who was, you know, on his level in terms of speed. Um, of course, I mentioned Diego Corrales. Don't forget our very own Mr. Ricky Hatton who went to, to Vegas to fight Floyd Mayweather as an undefeated power punching body, body puncher, just come off this massive win against Costa Zoo. He, had, he was full of confidence and most of us Brits thought Ricky Hatton was coming to actually beat Floyd. What did Floyd do? Weathered the early storm, check left hook, good night, there you go. Um, Demarcus Corley. Yeah, Victor Ortiz even. Let's not forget Victor Ortiz. Victor Ortiz going into that fight against Mayweather. Young, I mean, yes, he'd lost to Maidana and his heart had been questioned, but Mayweather isn't a big power puncher. So, you know, it was quite an interesting fight in the dynamics of the fight. He was a very young, hungry lion at the time, Victor Ortiz. And, you know, Mayweather was throwing blistering combinations at that time as well. Of course, we know the finish was controversial, but, you know, we just got to give it to Floyd. At the end of the day, protect yourself at all times. Joe Cortez, though, disgraceful referee at that, in that fight, in my opinion. Um, Floyd Mayweather also has been in with some all-time great fighters. Sugar Shane Mosley. Now, I know Sugar Shane Mosley was on the decline at that time. It was towards the end of his career. Let's not also forget Sugar Shane Mosley rocked Floyd Mayweather in the second round. But apart from that little bit of success, Floyd diffused the wily and experienced Sugar Shane Mosley and basically beat him up every round after the second round. Um, Canelo Alvarez, who will go down as his, in history as an all-time great, in my opinion. But let's not forget, he was 21 at that fight. He was still a very green fighter uh, and inexperienced. If the fight happened today, I still think Floyd wins, but I think Canelo Alvarez been, brings a lot more to the table. Oscar De La Hoya. Now, Oscar, towards the tail end of his career when they fought, and it was also a very contentious decision. Some people had De La Hoya winning. Miguel Cotto, now that was a great fight. He beat Miguel Cotto and he, at times, fought and traded against Miguel Cotto, which I, did, which I didn't expect. He kind of stood in the pocket a lot with the Philly shell and actually stood in line, throwing a lot of uppercuts, you know, staying there, taking the shots, coming back in the pocket. Very exciting fight. Did what he needed to do. And at the end, I think he could have stopped Cotto if he put the pedal to the metal but he, he kind of uh, was safety first, which is, which is what we've come to know from Floyd um, Money Mayweather. Marquez, of course he beat Marquez coming back after a year's layoff, um, but Marquez really was out of his depth in terms of the weight for that fight. Mayweather dropped him with a good shot in the second round, but actually it was kind of a 
walk in the park for him really, but he still dealt with a prime, fantastic Mexican legend of an operator. And of course, Manny Pacquiao, I don't even want to get started on the Manny Pacquiao fight. I convinced so many um, casual boxing fans to get tuned into that fight um, and they'll never watch boxing again because of that fight. But look, apart from the fourth round where Manny Pacquiao did have some success, um, Mayweather defused him uh, and in my opinion just outboxed him in pretty much every round. Um, so look, on reflection, when you actually go back through Floyd Money Mayweather's career, he's beaten the who's who of the last 20 years. He's been in there with everybody he has to face. What else is there for him to prove? Sure, you could say he needs to fight someone like a Golovkin, but come on, is he really, should he really have to go up to 160 to fight Golovkin? I mean, he's a naturalized 147 pounder. Don't forget, he's coming from way, even way lighter than that. He's already gone up through the weight divisions. You can't say he should go in there at 160 to face Golovkin just because you want to see him in there with an impossible task, even though in that fight, I still think he wins that fight. Um, who else can he fight? The young guns. I mean, Khan, come on, Khan's just been knocked out by Canelo Alvarez. Brooke, great fighter, just been done by Golovkin. What's there to prove? Thurman, Danny Garcia, great fighters. But against Floyd Mayweather, I think we know how the script goes. So on reflection, Floyd Money Mayweather is a fantastic fighter. He has a wealth of all-time greats, prospects, and, and just a, a resume which really does speak volumes. His 49 fights, if you go through his resume, he's got the who's who on there of the last 20 years. He's boxed them all and he's beat them all. But he gets a lot of criticism because of the timing of the fights he's taken, his clever and strategical management, and of course the way in which he can suck the life out of certain fights. But that's not his fault, he's just that good. I'm not denying that Floyd Money Mayweather is, is, is a fantastic fighter, but TBE, that's what we're here to, look about, to talk about. The best ever? The best ever? I mean, I'm going to put it on the line here. I think if you think Flo that Floyd Mayweather is the best ever, then you don't know boxing. I think it's actually disrespectful to a lot of the great fighters to say that Floyd Mayweather, with 49 and 0 in the modern era, can be better than some of the greats I've got. I mean, let's just put it in perspective. Even someone like uh, Julio Cesar Chavez was 72 and 0 before he lost, okay? How can you put Floyd Mayweather up against someone like him just, just in terms of record, right? You've then got people, let's just go back. Let's just go back. Let's talk about people like ageless Archie Moore. The guy's got 186 wins in the professional ranks. Okay, and they're the recorded ones, okay? Look at people like Harry Greb. Look at people like Henry Armstrong. People who have gone up through the weights. People who have fought about a thousand rounds each, right, in their careers. You know, go back through the histories of, history of boxing if you really want to talk about TBE. I, don't even get me started on people like Sugar Ray Robinson, the great Sugar Ray Robinson. This guy had 108 KOs on his record. 108 KOs on his record fighting in an era where the nutrition was, wasn't the same, where the, the weight making process wasn't the same, where they had, I mean, the, the odds were stacked against them. Talking of odds being stacked, stacked against them, TBE, I mean, heavyweights like Jack Johnson, fighting in an era where to be black, you were already massively disadvantaged, let alone to be the heavyweight champion of the world. You turn up to a fight and everybody wanted you to lose. The guy overcome so much adversity so much strife and, and, and to, to, to be the heavyweight champion in that era, that makes him one of the greatest ever. I mean, we haven't even talked about people like Joe Lewis. People like Joe Lewis who are in some of the most poignant fights of all time. And of course, there's the great Muhammad Ali. Some people say he's the greatest. You know, his epic battles with people like Joe Frazier, George Foreman, you know, he's, you know, Ernie Shavers. I mean, look, he's been in there with all time, all time greats who stand up to the test of time. Um, you know, even in the 80s, you had the four fantastic middleweight champions, Duran, Hearns, Hagler, Leonard. Can you really state that Floyd Mayweather Jr. is greater than all of those? In my opinion, the answer is straight up no. Okay, I'd go one step further. I'd say if, if you actually think Floyd Mayweather Jr. is the greatest, the, the best of all time, the best ever, then you need your head checked. Okay, and for me, 
I mean, I will do a top 10 list at some point of the greatest ever. I might make that my next, my next little piece. But Floyd Mayweather, for me personally, he doesn't make the top 10 um, of the best of all time. And actually, if I think about it hard, hard and long enough, I don't think he makes the top 20 uh, in terms of the greatest all time fighters. So that's just my little opinion. Feel free to disagree. I know some of you are gonna disagree. I know some of you that love Floyd Mayweather to death are gonna be like, he's the greatest ever, but you don't know what you're talking about. So that's me, done. Hope you enjoyed.